Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over. We have some really cool theories about star Pokemon evolutions, the legendaries in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and also whether we're going to be seeing a Nintendo Direct in June or not because of the whole E3 situation. So plenty of stuff to cover today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at the potential Quaxley evolution theme or evolution line, whatever you want to call it. This was a thread posted by Soul Silver Art saying, This is definitely what Quaxley's water feather hat is based off of, and it is so, so smart. I wonder if its hat will get even bigger and wilder as it evolves, or bigger and more clean, since he starts off as an earnest and tidy little guy. So, yeah, this is kind of what Quaxley is based on, which is really cool, and as he says, really, really smart. Um, and then they say, why do you plan on taking, who do you plan on taking for Scarlet and Violet? Uh, that's just kind of who he's thinking of stuff. But this is also quite interesting. So this was from the reveal trailer. And this person says, uh, I think the trailer showed something that is the first evolution. And then uh, they say, oh, it kind of does look like that. So this is the image they're talking about, um, which I think this um, potentially could be some sort of, it's either like the hair on, on Quoxley. And this is kind of like the second evolution of it. Obviously, it's so small and you can't really make anything out of it. Um, but basically in the reveal trailer, there's like a bunch of like potentially hidden Pokemon themes and stuff. Like we went over one not too long ago, which we're also going to go over today as well because it could potentially be to do with the legendary. Um, but yeah, all the way through the reveal trailer, there's like a bunch of different ones just kind of all over the place. Um, so honestly, if you go and check the reveal trailer now, you might spot a couple of things or two um, about just certain things um that now we know more information about the games i guess technically um you might be able to probably put two and two together um and then yeah a lot of people think that the uh the, the final evolution is going to be based off something like this with like a wig and everything um that is pretty cute it makes me kind of want to pick quoxley now but i'm on the fence on who to choose i think this is like the first gen in a long time where i generally don't know who i'm going to choose like at the start i really liked sprigatito but now for wake and quoxley have both really grown on me um so i honestly don't know it's just going to be one of those situations where i'll have to see the evolutions and, you know, when all the leaks and come out, I, I always have to see the evolutions just simply because um, I don't want to pick the wrong starter and then hate it and then have to deal with it as I go through the games, especially something like this as well. Anyway, next up, we're going to be talking about this. So uh, this was a tweet by Blaze in, uh, Incineroar who tweeted at Riddler Koo saying, is this the legendaries pre-evolution in the trailer? So we've spoken about how legendaries in this game could potentially have a pre-evolution um, just simply because we obviously had it before with like Cosmog and Cosmoam and then into Solgaleo or Lunala depending on your game. We could get something similar to that. Now we don't know if we are going to be able to ride the Pokemon or not. I'm pretty sure we're going to be uh, able to do that. But again, we're not 100% sure. And maybe uh, my theory is that like we might get the Legendary quite early on. But it's in like this basic stage and it doesn't take up like a Pokemon slot or anything. It's just kind of like an NPC that follows you around or something. Um, and this could be it because when this kind of little dude shows up in the trailer, that's when all the crazy stuff starts happening. Um, so Soul Silver Art, did you notice that after the security guard went into the room with it, the madness began? So yeah, from the reveal trailer, if you watch it, this guy hops around and then the security guard goes in the room and then all the crazy stuff starts like flipping all over the place and there's lights going off and on everything like that so it could be to do with this pokemon here um i think it's the regional bird uh then why was it running uh that has no shape it seems like it only has a stain it's moving all over the trailer and this person has a really really cool theory who says oh that thing is what causes the room to change time because before he enters the lights are flashing all the time as if it were time travel and also the difference that was in the trailer is based on a modern area that goes to something more rustic and old but in reality, if you notice the things in the room are like messy and overlapping because it brought the past into the future or well the present. So this is such a cool theory uh, by Dry Dry's, Dryos. I hope I got that right. So yeah, it's all like really modern and everything like that. And then, of course, the lights go all over the place. And then it becomes really like, um, like just loads of the themes from like the past and stuff kind of jump on so i'm more and more believing that it could be um something to do with like past and present and future and stuff as a whole in pokemon scarlet and violet and i really hope that's the case because i really hope the storylines are a little bit different depending on which game you buy because then it actually gives you a reason to buy both games but not only that i think it would just be a really cool premise for the actual um 
game. So yeah, whether the legendary is all to do with like time travel or or something, maybe you get the choice or something and, and, and well, maybe not the choice, but maybe one evolves into the grape legendary or it in Pokemon Violet and then it evolves into the orange legendary in Scarlet. Um, and then that takes you either to the past or the future or something like that. I think it'd be really cool, but I think this thing definitely has more to do now with um, the whole situation because like I say I covered it in a video not long ago But it didn't really mention the fact that when it appears that's when like all the craziness starts happening and the lights start going all crazy and there's like a Absolute disco fever going on uh, and then obviously all the like location changes to like this whole past thing So yeah, really really cool. Uh, we'll have to see what happens there finishing things up though We're gonna be talking about a potential Nintendo Direct in June uh, obviously not too long now until June already um, pretty much through May, which is kind of crazy. But this was a post on Nintendo Life um, saying, Video uh, with E3 dead, will Nintendo host a Direct in June? So we're all wondering, right? So E3 is dead. The long-running expo has been slowly losing ground over the last few years, and it seems like the COVID-19 pandemic was the final nail in the coffin. I don't think EV is necessarily dead, um, but I th obviously we know that it's not on this year. It has been cancelled. They've already come out and said it's not happening. Um, so that really kind of... Makes everyone believe like what we're going to see then because obviously they usually show Nintendo stuff at E3 like with Pokemon Sword and Shield we had the gameplay of the I think it was Ness's gym where we saw Impy Dimp and I think we saw Yamper in that as well. So we had two new Pokemon revealed new character in the gym and stuff so E3 has been quite a good place for Pokemon to like showcase stuff. It's obviously also where we found out about the whole national decks being cut in the Gen 8 games. So the fact that obviously they're not going to be shown at E3 this year does that mean that they're going to do like a different Pokemon Presents in June and they're just all the stuff that we're going to show in E3 are they now just going to show in a big Pokemon Presents in June instead um, but it's the same with the Nintendo as well um, so Jeff says Summer Game Fest is essentially taking the reins going forwards with a showcase event kicking off on June the 9th 2022 what does this mean for Nintendo though will we see a direct from the company in June as tradition largely dictates our lovely video team has teamed up again once to discuss that Nintendo's plans might uh, may be in light of E3's cancellation check out the video below so basically as for the writer's opinion yes we'll see a nintendo direct in june you can bet on that uh, what we need to remember is that the major showcases from the likes of nintendo microsoft and square enix are more or less separate from the main e3 event in fact microsoft has already announced its own showcase for june the 12th paving the way for other major publishers to follow suit you'll see so it might not be that long until we actually get an announcement of a nintendo direct for june uh, as, as well as like maybe Sony as well doing like a state of play or something because Microsoft have already announced it um, So obviously we're not going to see a Nintendo Direct on the tw uh, 12th of June because there's no way They're going to drop like a big Direct on the same day as another competitor's doing it But I'm still pretty confident we're going to see something in June for Nintendo So yeah, June is probably going to be a big month because I don't think the Pokemon would be in that Nintendo Direct And if it is, it's probably just going to be kind of um, showing what we've already seen So maybe we get um, an, a, a Pokemon Presents before the Nintendo Direct in June, which means like, like the first week of June potentially could be when we see some sort of Pokemon Presents. Again, could still happen in the next week of May, uh, the last week of May, should I say. Not too sure about that, but I'm I'm kind of more inclined to believe that we're going to see something at the start of June now. Um, so yeah, again, don't have to wait that long at all is what, like we're into the 20s now of May, so not long at all for the rest of May. But that is basically going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try our best to hit 500 likes as always. It really does help out. Again, leave a comment. What do you think Quoxley is going to evolve into? And also, what do you think this little thing is here? Do you think it is the legendary? Do you think it has something to do with the lights and, and the rooms and everything? Again, it could be a mythical as well. It's not necessarily the legendary. It could just simply be a very small mythical. Um, because in the trailer, it kind of like hops. It... it I, I think it's something special. I think it has to be like quite a big prominent part of the story. Uh, and yeah, also, when do you think we're going to see a Pokemon Presents and Nintendo Direct and all that good stuff? But anyway, it's going to be everything from me. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Uh, and have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.